What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new Crypto TV episode. I wanted to come on and do a quick update as some crazy stuff is happening right now since I made my video early this morning. We've been tracking most every cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, kind of exploding uh, itself to the upside here. And we just had a major sell-off, uh, a major battle where prices actually peaked at $64,000 on Bitcoin, which the last time we were at 64 k on Bitcoin was years ago. I want to just pull up the weekly chart and show you. The last time we were at 64,000 was back in November of 2021. So we're now on to three years later, three years, and we have finally caught up as expected as it is by no means a surprise. But I do want to go over a few things with you as most of you are probably in this market right now making trades and are probably like what in the world is going on here so i want to kind of update you as to the trades we've made what we're doing how we're going to move forward from here so if you're invested into any of these cryptos uh definitely stick around because we will be going over xrp and solana and ethereum and bitcoin as well as the s p 500 so with all that being said smash that like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's jump into today's episode now before we dive into the technical analysis yet again a quick update bid my favorite cryptocurrency exchange is giving away a hundred dollars in free cryptocurrency by signing up with the link down in the description making your first deposit and trading they're also doing a new campaign they just updated me about after i made this morning's video uh they said it's going to be the best one yet so i'm excited to see they haven't shared it with me yet uh they're gonna send that to me tomorrow so stay tuned for tomorrow's episode i'm very excited to see what they have to offer hopefully it's good uh but they said because the markets are doing so well they're gonna do something crazy so i'm excited to see the results of that but anywho's what we need to go over we made a couple of videos pretty much focusing on what appeared to be kind of the sideways channel. So we had crypto explode. We pretty much tracked the sideways or the symmetrical triangle breakout. And then markets started to consolidate here. At the same time, we were focused on XRP's bull flag formation here. Moving forward, we had double tops forming on Solana, consolidation forming on Bitcoin. Like there's been a lot of stuff to go over in the past couple of videos here. Even uh, just five days ago, we started to see the outline of this kind of sideways channel here. And then more recently, we've just been filling it out. And then finally, we've had the breakout that we've all been patiently waiting for, which is very exciting if you ask me. But as you guys know, what goes up at some point, I'll let you fill it in down in the comments, must come down. And that's what we're dealing with right now. Lots of uncertainty. I've said it and I'll say it again. We're on a level right now where we're like teeter-tottering. It's like a balloon. And we just keep pumping that balloon up with air and air and air. And we keep building pressure. We keep building up steam. At some point, it's going to pop as it always does. And we're going to see pullback. And it's going to be fast and it's going to be aggressive. We've seen it numerous times. I'll show you it, how it's happened in Bitcoin in the past year, but we'll do it again. Some things you have to pay attention to literally overnight. Markets are now at $2.25 trillion, which means $250 billion has entered the market cap in just a couple of days hours, which is incredible. Bitcoin's up 20% for the week, massive explosion, 80 on the fear and greed index. Everything is just surging and it's exciting. The main focal point and the takeaway is lots of uncertainty. And this is exactly what I was talking about earlier today, why I'm getting a bit risky. Things are getting a bit risky with XRP. Pretty much every you know, trade I had opened obviously got stopped out. And that's why I'm making this video here. You can see major bull flag, lower high, lower low pattern filling in this gap here. Quick Sell off. That's the, the the surge in volume sells off and gets everybody liquidated super quick, and that's exactly what this did. Liquidates everybody, gets so many people all the weak hands out, and then flies back up here. We're letting this consolidate. I, I've I've said it and I'll say it again here. A few things you got to look at. We've bought into. XRP, once we confirm this breakout uh, above this major downtrend here, that's that buy an opportunity to long. And then since then, we've had a kind of a shaky uptrend, but an uptrend nonetheless. And you can see as we've rallied up, now we're starting to see a bit of movement, a bit of turbulence, a bit of consolidation here, especially as we get to this uh, price ceiling. And that's kind of what I wanted to reiterate yesterday, or sorry, this morning, I made a video stating that just because we confirmed closure above here, for those that want to trade it aggressively, for the, op the, the small chance we see something like this, I guess it wasn't that small, but the big chance we see something like this, uh, you know, we buy in aggressively. Uh, you know, you got it's a lot of risk. However, like I said, if we confirm closure above price ceiling up here, the likelihood that we fall like we're doing is quite slim. So that's kind of how you have to take this here for those that have conservative, uh, you know, mindset like me, buy in 
I'm going to buy in above this. That's my opportunity. That's a window to take advantage of. Otherwise, we're sitting ducks. Now, I think we will at some point head back up to that. But until then, play it safe, play it real, and relax a little bit here. Now, as for these other cryptos, starting to see some rejection. Not surprised at all. You know, we talked about Solana seeing double tops potentially like this. That's what we're kind of seeing now. There's a chance we could head up higher. It's very possible. We have this uptrend. We are heading up higher. The problem is we're getting close to, A, this uptrend that's now acting as a bit of resistance and the price ceiling right at about 120. So until we can pop through this on a daily and close the daily above that, we're sitting ducks. So wait for confirmation above this to buy in before we expect to see a long position because otherwise it's very quick that we could start to short. Same thing as a lot of these other cryptos. We've kind of insisted and I've said time and time again that this is going to be, you know, we're going, we are overbought. We're, we're overextended and there is going to be a time where markets do reverse. And that's kind of what we're experiencing today. Now I made a video a couple of hours or uh, yesterday, sorry. And I made a video this morning, basically talking about how I was tracking, uh, or I made a trade on BidFi, which actually allowed me to move my stop losses up. And that's where it's kind of important in today's market to do this. You can see I have the take profits and stop losses opened up on BidFi here. And you can see basically what I was doing is you can move the stop loss higher than your entry point, which is what I did. And I pretty much locked in 30% in gains. You can see here, when the last price reaches 54,250, which is where I put it, the current order will close at market price estimated at $23 or an estimated profit right here, but a return on investment of 30%, literally playing around with the stop loss positions here. You can see how you can easily lock in guaranteed gains. A lot of you guys were asking me too if there's a way to get a moving one that kind of does it automatically. I'll ask BidFi. I don't think they have that just yet, but you can see how easily it is to kind of capitalize off this run here and lock in gains and moving it up. So that's kind of the big thing in today's market. And you can see due to rapid changes in the market, stop losses trigger price should not be set too close to the liquidation price to avoid trigger failure. But even more than that here, you can see why it's important because when we start to scale up, you want to lock in profits. You don't want this to just immediately. And at some point it will, we are going to peak. We are going to come back down because it's normal and it's healthy in these markets here. But as we start to scale up, you want to move your stop loss higher and lock in these profits. You don't need to be up here. You don't need to guarantee, you know, set greed aside. You don't need to be the highest in the market here to lock in everything. You can see I can adjust this to how I want. Now it's at 28.7% ROI before I had it a little over 30% here, depending on how close you want it. Just lock in as much as you can. If you get stopped out, who cares? At least you made 30% on a trade here. And that's kind of my opinion on matters like this. We're starting to see the bulls and the bears battle it out. And at some point it is going to peak and we are going to reverse within a lot of these markets here. And there's a good chance it's going to happen soon. This was a very textbook, easy trade to buy in, confirmed closure on the four hour. And since then we were able to buy in, but you can see this stop, you know, this creates a stop loss. It stopped us out. It triggered all of our positions in case we decide to dip because we're nearing the end. You don't have to get in. You don't have to get out, excuse me, on the end. It's very hard to time the top. It's much easier to get in on these runs to the upside here. Move that stop loss up, lock in those profits. It'll be very easy to make gains on this. Now, for those that maybe missed out on that opportunity to buy in on the long, it's time to buy in on the short. That's what we're going to be paying attention to now because not only can you long trades on BidFi, you can also short trades on BidFi, which is incredible and exciting. So not only can you make money on the run up, uh, which was the only thing you could do back in the day, now you can make money on the run down, which is even more important because it gives you twice as many options to leverage trade. So that's what we're going to be paying attention to right now moving forward. Is this a top? I don't know. We're definitely showing signs that we're near it. And at some point or another, we could see a small, healthy, keyword, healthy pullback to the downside, not bear market, because we're definitely in bulls, a pullback to the downside. Now, what's cool about BidFi is they have a few different things here. Obviously, BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. But BidFi also offers over $2,000 in free rewards by literally filling out these tasks here. So make sure to check that out down in the description below. Also, make sure to che uh, check out and test their demo account. They give you a ton of alternate cryptos. This is not it. 
Here it is, a demo trading account. Gives you uh, a few cryptocurrencies, sample cryptos to trade around with, get familiar with the platform. You can use 50K Monopoly money to test your skills. And then when you're ready, you can switch on over to the real trading account, which is awesome here. Uh, but that's pretty much like the main update, the main takeaway of today's video. We are peaking. You know, we're at a ceiling. We're already retesting it on XRP. Solana's retesting its ceiling here of resistance. Ethereum is just way overbought. And the same thing with Bitcoin too. At some point, correction is going to happen. And if we jump to the daily, you'll probably get a better view. If we go back in the past here, check it out consistently. We can go back to 2021. We can go back even earlier. We'll go back earlier for those that are still watching here. If we go back to previous highs at some point or another, usually with these major rapid runs, they cause correction here. Like, we see major runs. Now, this is a daily candle, but it does start a dip to the downside here. At some point, we do peak where we are trading at 84 on the RSI and correction happens. And typically, it forms some sort of you know triangle. You can see what happened here. And then we have another surge, but it kind of rebounds, kind of like this rebound effect. And then we continue to short. So there's lots of these opportunities. I want to show you guys more so over here. Obviously, this could be the start. It's just insane, just insane madness of runs. But at some point, we do peak and we do correct here. But we do hit a top, and these tops usually end up rebounding us very quickly to the downside. This is 86, 87. You know, yet again here, correction to the downside. So just things you do have to pay attention to. It's going to get freaky real soon. But um, moving forward from that, going back to where we currently are, we are way outside our limits here. You can even see the original kind of support we had drawn here. We're kind of already rebounding off of it. I mean, check this out. If I jump to the weekly, you can see a bigger factor in how these markets are moving. You can also see where the top resistance is. But look, we're inside a much bigger ascending broadening wedge, and we're hitting the top. And we're also trading at 82 in the RSI, which is another extreme. You can see back in the past here, back in 2020, even back here. Well, this was all overbought too. But um, more so the fact is we're hitting, we're, we're, we're becoming overbought too quickly. And this is inevitably going to cause depths. You know, take that as you will. Not the best with my words, but hopefully you guys kind of understand the point of today's video. But with that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.